Good evening and very welcome to Own Beg Centre of Excellence on this chilly September evening for the Errigal Contracts Senior Football Championship Shield decider between Glen and Bally McGuigan. Conditions all but perfect, you would say. The pitch looking absolutely immaculate as ever here in Own Beg for this keenly contested, what we feel will be a keenly contested affair here in Own Beg. And down to our left-hand side will be the Bally McGuigan side, as you will see now in your screen. Playing in their green and gold, as usual. And Glenn will be playing in their chain strip of the white jerseys, which is at the scoreboard end here of Owen Begg. At the end, where, as you will see, with the scoreboard there is the Glenn team in the white. And I'm going to start off with the Glenn side and how they will line out this evening. In goals, wearing number one, Louise Gunn. The full-back line, number two, Aoife McGuckian. Amy Glasgow at number three and Dara McKenna at number four. The half-back line of Dervla McGuckian, Kiva Kilpatrick, the team captain, is at number six and Kira Mulholland making up the half-back line. The midfield pairing is Danielle Kievlahan and Leanne McChrystal. And the half-forward line, Lauren O'Loughlin, Annie Nee Loughlin and Brona McNichol. And the full-forward line of Claire McGrogan, Mary Nee Loughlin and Brina O'Loughlin. And the Bally McGuigan side, will line out with Leanne McKeown in goals. The full back line of Claire McCartney, Kiva O'Kane and Joanne Corr. The half back line of Dervla Steenson, Sinead Brady at number six and Kate Gribben at number seven. The midfield pairing is Aoife McLoon and Nicole Nugent. Half forward line of Erin O'Neill, Anna Martin and Erin Doherty. And the full forward line, the team captain, Ashley O'Neill, Shona Walls at full forward and Lauren Crozier. Mix up the Bally McGuigan side. Of course, if you're wondering what the Shield competition is, it's the sides that were defeated at the quarterfinal and semi-final stages of the Senior Football Championship. Both teams over made the semi-finals, but unfortunately for them, it's probably not the final they wish to be in this year, but it is the one that they are now going to contest on the silverware at the end of the day. Bally McGuigan losing out to Steelstown in their semi-final, while Glenn lost out to Ballinus Green in their senior championship semi-finals, of course, meaning that Steel, Steelstown and Bally, Ballinus Green are in to the decider in a couple of weeks' time. And, of course, then they had a, a semi-final where Glenn overcame Money Moore in their semi-final, just like they had done in the quarter-final of the senior championship. They overcame Money Moore again at the semi-final stages of the Shield competition, while Bally McGuigan overcame Fahan Vale in their semi-final. Both comfortable victories. Our referee and the man in the middle is from Loop. It's Ronan Corey. And the lines people is Tara McVeigh and Leah Casey. And our fourth official, I think, is Jude Dixon. Is our fourth official this evening. Yes, it is indeed, Jude. So the scene all but set here for this game. We're just waiting. The toss has been done. So we're just waiting the players to go into their positions, both backbone by a number of key players, county players that represented the county this year as well. And it's been really a great year for Bally McGuigan, recently crowned under-18 and under-19 champions. And central to that was the number seven, Kate Gribben. So they'll be looking a big performance again from Kate and Wherever you tune to us throughout the world, do let us know and we will give you a shout out as the game progresses. If you're supporting Bally McGuigan or if you're supporting the Waddy Grahams Glen, hopefully you will enjoy it. As I said, it's a nippy evening here in Ombeg. The lights shining bright down here on this immaculate surface as we look out there at the match officials in the centre of the field. Well, our two lines people. Tara McVeigh and Leah Casey and then coming across from the far side you will see Ronan Corey who will be the man in the middle of this game this evening here and now just into your picture Cahill McOsker of course whose photographs you will be seeing throughout social media later on tonight and tomorrow of this game and you will be seeing who will be lifting that shield title for 2021 as I said, it's not the title that both clubs had aimed for maybe at the start of the year, but at the end of the day, as we say, silverware well, will be counting. So will soon final. be underway here. And we welcome both Val McGuigan and, and Wally Graham's 
Tonight's team is number one, Louise so as I said, number both sides backbone by a number of county players. Louise Gunn, the county goalkeeper. Kiva Kilpatrick, Kirkpatrick, apologies, also part of the county panel. So too is Danielle Keevlahan on the Glen side and Annie Nee Lachlan. So they have a number of players on the county panel. Brina O'Loughlin also was part of the county panel this year. And so too was Claire McGrogan from the county set up as well and Bally McGuigan Joanne Cor Nicole Nugent Erin Doherty all representing the county colours this year and of course as we mentioned before Kate Gribben was part of the the Derry minor side of course that won the Ulster title and was a key part of course in backbone of that Bally McGuigan side that has won the under 18s and the under 19 titles this year and on the bench you look there you've got Kayla Letters of course who was the captain of that under 19 side Katie Shivers was also part of the side as well so there's a lot of players there that they can call upon if need be and the Glen substitutes as well Roisin McElhannon you feel could be introduced at some stage Rachel McCusker there's a lot of players there but they are missing the influential and the experienced Cathy Joyce of course who picked up that nasty arm injury in that championship semi-final against Ballina Screen, so we do wish her well in her recovery. She is here supporting the girls, but unable, unfortunately, to take a part in tonight's proceedings. But hopefully, she will be back in the Glen Colours next year. As we watch Glen just going through their final little warm-ups, and Ronan Corey in the centre of the park blows the whistle to get them in to the centre of the field and get them into their positions to get this Errigal contracts. Shield decider on the way here in Own Beg. We always say it how wonderful it is, and credit to Derry County Board and everyone that looks after Own Beg. Looking absolutely immaculate again under the bright lights here in September, towards the end of September, and the temperatures most definitely dropping down. As Ronan Corey, in your picture in the centre of the field, just going through his final little. Limbering up and warm ups as both teams in their huddles. Bally McGuigan to my left hand side, Glenn down to my right hand side. And again, coverage brought to you with thanks to SVS Productions. Terence down to my right hand side, and Kirsty on camera taking you all the pictures. And Ryan was here, but Ryan has disappeared. Just for momentarily, he will be back in the hot seat very, very soon to make sure that the pictures are beamed around the world. And remember, wherever you are, do let us know where you're tuned our way. Maybe you're down under in Australia. I'm sure it's a little bit warmer down there than it is in Omeg at the present moment. You may be just getting out of your bed in, in Australia. Or across the water, maybe just in England or even to the other way over in America but wherever you are or just sitting at home in front of a cosy fire in Ballymcguigan or in Mahara supporting either of these sides you are indeed very very welcome and hopefully you can stay with us and enjoy the game which I'm sure both of these sides will put on a pretty entertaining affair they usually do when they come head to head they have met already this year in the league Glenn coming out on top of that one in Wadi Graham Park earlier the year so the managements of both teams making their way off the field. So hopefully proceedings will be soon underway here. As the crowd, a nice decent crowd it must be said, in here to watch this one here in Owen Beck. So both teams now breaking away from their huddles and into their positions. So we will soon be on the way here. As I said, Bally McGuigan playing in their usual colours, the green and gold. While Glenn playing in their mostly white jerseys. As we're going to pause now for our national anthem and our on the vein.
the formalities all but over here and Glenn will be defending the roadside goals here of Ombeg so they'll be attacking the end with the scoreboard which the end you're looking at now with the tricolour flying a little bit of a breeze but nothing you would feel that will affect this game too much it must be said so the scene is all but set as Leah Casey kicks a ball into the centre of the field we're just waiting for the referee who is going to give us his hat which he has discarded and give it to the umpire and now makes his way he'll be coming into your picture very very soon and indeed there is Ronan Corey as he does get this shield aerial contract shield decider about to get it underway and he does exactly that and the ball is up and Leanne Casey knocks it down but it's Bally McGuigan coming forward here with Nicole Nugent Nugent going through the centre tries to get past the challenge there of Kiva Kirkpatrick referee playing the advantage there might be an early goal chance here for Bally McGuigan as they try to work their way through but the referee is given a free out for charging maybe she should have let the officer away but it was good defending there from Amy Glasgow the full back for Glenn as the ball is played across here to Louise Gunn the goalkeeper gives it off now to Amy Glasgow Amy coming solo out, and she will drive forward at every opportunity from a full back position. Over to the side here now, looking for Brona McNichol. McNichol bends her back and gathers possession. Brona away up there, trying to take on Derbla Steenson. Plays it into the corner. Claire McGrogan down, bend, gathers possession. Coming in field, loses possession momentarily, but it's time to pick it back up. Offloads it now to Brina O'Loughlin. Brina coming in field, looks to give it off but no options available, may have overcarried there, no, the referee says no as Claire McGrogan plays it over there but the hand comes in and Bally McGuigan have turned that one over and coming out of it is Sinead Brady, way over on the far side, just slowing it down and Bally McGuigan way over on the terrace side here of Ombeg as Glenn tried to turn that one over and they've done exactly that with Leanne McChrystal Leanne plays it into space and there's an opportunity here for Mary Neil Lachlan but it just bounced away from her and it was time for Bally McGuigan to clear that one up and Bally McGuigan now coming solo and out of defence as they let the ball long here into the corner and the challenge coming in there Aoife McGuigan under pressure but Ashley O'Neill has been dispossessed there as Dervla Kivlan or Danielle Kivlan gathers possession plays it away and Danielle has hurt her back and so too has I think it's the corner forward there. Ashley O'Neill that is down for the Bally McGuigan side. But Danielle Keevelahan saying that she's okay as the Glen Physio goes in. But it's more worrying for Bally McGuigan, I think, at the present moment. Ashley gets back on her feet and is okay to continue. So Glen had possession of the ball. So Danielle. Keevelin plays it into the corner. Good ball too for Claire McGrogan. And the referee's whistle sounds for a little nudge there on Claire. So it's going to be a free to Glen. Just inside the 65 metre line. Which is going to be taken by their midfielder, Danielle Keevelin. So Danielle plays a good ball in there. And it's picked up by Leanne McChrystal. Leanne with the outside of the boot looking there for Brona McNichol. Brona will do well to keep that one in place. She does very well indeed. Plays it back out here to Annie Lee Lachlan. Annie has time to gather possession but that time is quickly taken up and she's been fouled there by Dervla Steenson so it's a free in to the Glen girls which is going to be taken by Brina Brina O'Loughlin but I'm sure she'll be trying to play this one short plays it into the centre there to her sister Lauren now here's an opportunity now the wing half back is up there Dervla McGuckian, but she has been dispossessed and Bally McGuigan have it back as we still await the first score here with just over three minutes on the clock and long ball in again looking for the full forward but as well read there by Amy Glasgow out ahead of Shona Walls but they've given possession away there and it's picked up here by Erin O'Neill Erin O'Neill trying to dance her way through has gone down and has fouled and she lit, plays it was going to take the free quickly but decided to just leave it and an opportunity here as the effort comes in and the effort goes over the bar for the opening score for the Bally McGuigan girls with just almost four minutes on the clock not just sure which it could well be the corner forward over there that has got that one as a short kick out from Louise Gunn is picked up there by 
Dara McKenna. So one point to no score in favour of Bally McGuigan. An opportunity here for Dervla McGuckian again. There's a back there to Lauren O'Loughlin. Back again to McGuckian. Dervla. Dervla with the outside of the boot looking for Mary O'Loughlin. But she's beaten to it there. It's Joanne Core back there at cornerback. Gathering possession. Now out to the midfielder. Which is Eva McLoan. And she's driving out of defence. Plays the ball there, but it's well intercepted by Danielle Keevlan. Looks up and plays it into the corner. Good ball just out in front of Claire McGrogan. McGrogan trying to take on a marker. Cuts inside her. Looking to get support. Going through the centre. There's a chance here for Brina O'Loughlin. Brina is bottled up though. Needs to get support. Does so from Danielle Keevlan again. Into the corner looking for Brona McNichol. McNichol races after this one. Gathers possession. Cutting in along the end line is Brona. But she leaves the ball behind her. But she has time to gather possession again. Flicks it inside to Mary Neelachlan. Mary Neelachlan turns her players. Bearing in on goal here is Mary. But she loses possession and the referee says she is overcarried. So it's going to be a free. Out to Bally McGuigan. With the only score so far. Coming. For the McGuigan girls. We say hello to Kate Crozier. Supporting. The Bally McGuigan girls down there in East Belfast. You're very welcome, Kate, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. As here comes Brina O'Loughlin. Brina O'Loughlin in now to Brona McNichol. McNichol cuts inside. She might have goal on the mind. Plays it across here now to Mary Neelachlan with another opportunity. And Mary Neelachlan with the opening goal. Good move for Glenn. Finish to the net from their full forward. The goal scoring machine in Mary Neelachlan. Fires to the back of the net. Brina O'Loughlin involved. So too was. Brona McNichol and finished by Mary Neelachlan for the opening goal of the game with just over six minutes on the clock the kick out away over to the far side but it's well read over there and Bally McGuigan have possession coming up the far wing and it's a good ball up there now to Aaron O'Neill plays it inside and there's an opportunity here for Nugent to come forward Nicole Nugent the midfielder goes to the ground under the challenge and the referee perfectly positioned to see that she was fouled over there so it's going to be a free in was taken there by the centre half forward Anna Martin plays it over here now to the other midfielder which is Aoife McLone McLone trying to sidestep the challenge there of Brino Lachlan she does so plays it inside and an opportunity here maybe now for the centre half forward effort comes in but that's into the easy hands and picked up there by Louise Gunn the effort coming in from Anna Martin and the ball away over now with Kiva Kirkpatrick the team captain of Glen she's got Amy Glasgow with her if she needs her but she loses Lauren O'Loughlin now to Dara McKenna Dara McKenna further on up and a bit of space now for Annie Neelachlan right out there in front of Cahill McOscar it's tracked over there too by Sinead Brady she flicks it over the head of Brady into Kira Mulholland Mulholland uses the support which is Leanne McChrystal McChrystal driving through the centre here sidesteps the challenge plays it inside now to Brina O'Loughlin Brina over the top again a wonderful ball in now to Claire McGrogan just couldn't take it first time but a chance here for Claire tries to chip the goalkeeper and does so goal for Claire McGrogan a second goal for Glenn and you could see that she was just trying to chip it over the goalkeeper. She got it absolutely perfectly over the head of the goalkeeper there, which was Leanne McKeown, and into the back of the net for the second goal of the game for Glenn, who have got two goals in quick succession to take control of this game. And they've picked up the ball in the centre of the field here, and Dow's back with a goal scorer again. Claire McGrogan plays it inside. An opportunity here for Kieran Mulholland. Offloads it now to Danielle Keeblin. Over the top again to Brona McNichol. McNichol from an acute angle. McNichol's effort just goes to the wrong side and wide of the target but Glenn with the confidence now with that two goals you can see them just building the kick out goes straight now to Claire McGrogan handled a lot of ball in the early stage of this one offloads it now to Lauren O'Loughlin who give it to her sister Brina but she drops possession and coming out with it now it's the number 10 here which is Aaron O'Neill looking lively for the Bally McGuigan girls for the run up an opportunity here to drive forward for Bally McGuigan it's the wing half forward here, Aaron Doherty, the county player, getting the jersey tugged back, as you'll see. But if the ball's in here, an opportunity maybe for Ashley O'Neill. Back out again to Aaron Doherty. Aaron Doherty trying to get the shot away. It is. It's a dangerous one, and it's into the back of the net, over the head of the goalkeeper, Louise Gunn, and into the back of the net for a quick response from Aaron Doherty and Bally McGuigan. We've had three goals already, and we've only played nine minutes. Two for Glenn, one for Bally McGuigan. And both keepers have been picking the ball out of the back of the net. So two goals to Glenn, 1-1 to Bally McGuigan a good response 
from Bally McGuigan and from Aaron Doherty. Short kick out now to Kieran Mulholland. Now to Danielle Keevelin. Spreads it over to this side here to Brina O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin has got space. She's got her cousin Annie if she needs her outsider. And she could well use Annie Neelachlan here. She does so over the head of the Bally McGuigan girl, Brady. But coming in there to challenge is the midfielder, Nicole Nugent. And Annie has to come further away back out. And she could well give possession away there as... Kira Mulholland was there to pick up that loose ball. Kira breaks away from the challenge, gives it off inside, and here's an opportunity maybe to drive forward for Glenn. But bottle it up here is Brina. Oh, Lachlan. Brina spreads it away out to the far side. And a bit of space here now for Lauren. Gives it off to Claire McGrogan. McGrogan trying to take on her player way over there. And that player is Kate Gribben, who dispossesses her and gathers possession. The minor star and plays it out into space there. Way over in the far wing. The other wing half back helping her out there was Derbla Steenson. And it's coming forward is Bally McGuigan again, but it just slips through the hands there of the wing half forward, Aaron Doherty. And Glenn tidy that one up. Lauren O'Loughlin plays it inside to Leanne McChrystal. Back now to Glenn trying to work their way forward, but they've given possession away there. And the centre half back, Sinead Brady, Gallus possession. And now with Steenson, Derbla Steenson. Back again to the midfielder and gl- back to Sinead Brady again. Gathers possession down here in the covered stand side. Plays it forward into space here. An opportunity for the midfielder, Aoife McLone. McLone sidesteps the challenge there and inside. There might be in again. Ashley O'Neill bearing in a goal here, but she's pulled the effort wide. Missed opportunity that for Bally McGuigan. And for Ashley O'Neill, the team captain, pulled it to the near post. as she bore down on goal. And a chance to put her side back in front, but... The effort going to the wrong side of the post and wide. This play is just held up here. As Sinead Brady just directly down in front of us here. Ties her lace. So play will resume. Have a kick out here for Louise Gunn between the posts for Glenn. So Louise with this kick out. And plays a good one out there in front of Kiva Kirkpatrick who gathers possession and turns away from her marker. And now a chance for Dara McKenna to play it over here now to Danielle Keevlan Keevlan plays it further on up and here's Kira Mulholland Mulholland driving forward she likes to get forward at every opportunity that wasn't the best of passes though into Brino Lachlan but Brina did well to win it gives it back then to Danielle Keevlan Keevlan breaks away from the challenge plays it over the top looking for Brona McNichol but Brona has got it she's done well to get it and she's got a point out of it as well has she? the effort looks in and we look for the umpire yes he is she done well to win it in the first instance and then kicked a fine point has Bruno McNichol to put her side a goal in front. 2-1 to 1-1 with just over 12 minutes on the clock as Leanne McEwen gets ready to kick this one out. Going over to the far side as the hands go up but it's broken away there and it's worked out for Bally McGuigan as they gather possession there through Anna Martin. Gives it off now to Kate Gribben driving forward. Kate likes to get forward and can kick a point if she gets the opportunity. She might be thinking of that at the moment. She's still going. She might be thinking of further, but it's just over. Cooked the pass in there and it's picked up by Louise Gunn. And give it to Amy Glasgow. And now away over to the far side. Picked up by Breen O'Loughlin. Seen a lot of ball in the early stages of this one, but that pass may have just went a little bit astray. That's the battle for position there. Dervla McGucky and it was but it's picked up by Kira Mulholland, who sidesteps the challenge, gives it inside to Annie O'Loughlin, back now to the midfielder, Leanne McChrystal, Leanne from Desert Martin, coming forward, but plays her ladies football for Glenn, plays it over here, and a chance for Claire McGrogan, a goal to her name already, has Claire, tries to get away from the challenge, and does so, and might have a point on her name here, and she does exactly that, Claire McGrogan, 1-1 to her name already, and we've only played 13 minutes. It's a lively start to this one. And they give possession away and here comes Claire McGrogan. Good ball in now to Mary Neil Auckland. Neil Auckland might have a second goal on her mind but that's a wonderful challenge coming in there from Sinead Brady. A wonderful challenge from Brady. To turn that one over because it looked like Mary Neil Lachlan was in. The full back coming out there which was Kiva Ukian. And now passing it through the hands. And here comes the midfielder Nicole Nugent. Nicole Nugent coming through the centre. Plays the ball in here. There's a bit of space but that's well read there by Danielle Keevlahan. Wonderful reading from the midfielder. From Danielle Keevlahan getting in there just ahead of Shona Walls. 
and has fouled in the process but it was well read from Danielle to get that one back and turn that one over as the free is taken by Amy Glasgow and takes the return from her goalkeeper Amy plays it into space spotted Annie Nilachlan Annie Gallus possession way over on the far side coming forward here for Glenn who lead by 2-2 to 1-1 as you will see in the scoreboard and the ball's in there to her twin her twin sister is Mary Mary lays it off now to Brina O'Loughlin the cousins combining and Brina is going to let this one in but this one's just tailing out to the wrong side and wide of the target so it remains 2-2 to 1-1 with 15 minutes gone so the referee may be calling the water break very very shortly but he's going to let play continue and a good kick out there picked up by Aaron Doherty and lays it off now to the midfielder Nicole Nugent back again to Doherty Aaron Doherty coming driving forward here just a little dummy solo just cut inside but her way was blocked there by Danielle Cablan drives it in long into the corner ball broken down there but it's well picked up by Aoife McGuckin and she has it back again now with Kira Mulholland out here to Danielle Keevlan. Keevlan sidesteps the challenge there and plays it inside and just took her eye off the ball there. But Danielle Keevlan's in to pick up the loose ball again. Danielle forward to Brona McNichol. McNichol trying to go between two players but she's dispossessed there and that's a high challenge there. Coming in on the midfielder Nicole Nugent and the referee just showing what the free was for. But I don't think any player needed to be shown as to why that was a free because it was a high challenge and it's back down but that's going to be read by Leanne McChrystal but just didn't work out for Leanne but she uses her soccer skill gathers possession now but her way is blocked goes down under the challenge and the referee's whistle sounds just telling Sinead Brady as to why the whistle sounded because a little high hand might have been accidental though into the face of Leanne McChrystal so it remains 2-2 to 1-1 we're still playing gone 16 and a half minutes gone so not sure they need a water break on a night like that but we expect it to be soon as Leanne Crystal just receiving a little bit of tension down here the free will be taken by Danielle Keevlan who's looked very bright So far for the Glen girls and plays it in looking for Mary Neil Auckland, but that's well read there. Good defending from the midfielder. But she has given possession away. Picked up there by Kiva Kirkpatrick. Back again to Danielle Keevlan, the playmaker for Glen. Plays it over to the far side looking for Brino Lachlan, but it's well read by the cornerback there, Joanne Core. Core gathers possession, coming solo and inside. Lays the simple ball off there to Anna Martin. Anna Martin up along the far wing. But it's over the head of them all. And Dara McKenna racing after this one. It's a race for pace. But Aaron Doherty doing very well. But that's good defending from Dara McKenna. Dara done very, very well to turn that one over. She looked like she was beaten to it on pace there from Aaron Doherty. But she did well to hold her off and gather possession. Now with Kiva Kirkpatrick again. Spreads it over to this side here. Looking for the run of Brona McNichol. But the hand comes in there. But Brona McNichol gets it ahead of the corner. Or the wing half back there which was... Dervla Steenson, who seemed to have done enough, but here comes Kira Mulholland now. Coming back at her is Steenson, the wing half back. Mulholland gathers possession and plays it inside to Annie Neelachlan. Annie Neelachlan's been pulled, says the referee, by the number 10 there, which is Erin O'Neill, so it's a free to Glenn. And the referee happy to let play continue before the water break. As Brina spreads it into the centre to Danielle Keevlahan again. As I said, the playmaker for Glenn. Everything you would feel nearly goes through her. As the ball in, looking for Claire McGrogan. Little hand pass to the side from Claire. Just flicked it to the side, but Brina wasn't on the same wavelength. And Bally McQuiggan gather possession and pick up the loose ball. Back again now with Aaron O'Neill. Aaron O'Neill's low trajectory pass up there. And it's a good one too to Aaron Doherty. Aaron Doherty offloads it now to Anna Martin. Anna Martin sidesteps the challenge. And goes forward here and still going is Martin. Steadsteps another challenge is Martin. The effort coming in is a dangerous one. 
and it's dropped over the bar. Good score. A fine score there from Anna Martin with the point. And now we have the water break. It's been a lively opening. 19, almost 20 minutes of football. And Glen lead by 2-2 to 1-2 on this nippy night here in Old Bake. And remember, wherever you are, do let us know where you're tuned away and who you're hoping will be taking home that shield this evening. So 2-2 two -two to 1-2 at the water break. It was a long opening quarter. But that final score from Anna Martin reduces the deficit to the goal. The goals, Mary Neil Auckland and Claire McGrogan giving Glenn the perfect start, but they responded immediately, did Bally McGuigan, through a goal from Aaron Doherty to get right back into this game. It's been a keenly and evenly contested affair so far. As the umpires you'll see in your picture, having a little chat down there behind the goals to our left hand side. Both teams down in front of us. Just getting a little drink and a a little well earned break. So two two to one two in favour of Glenn. The opening water break. On a nippy night here in Old Beg. But dry, thankfully, and that's the important thing. From the crowd all in the seated stand here for this one. So the referee blows the whistle, telling the players to resume back into their positions. Roughly about a two-minute break there. So Glenn with that one-goal advantage. The player will resume with a kick out to Glenn. And our goalkeeper, Louise Gunn. The players make their way back into the positions. Oh, nope, the referee is happy. A play to resume. So he's gone with the kick out, picks out Dara McKenna. Dara Gallas possession, tries to work a way out, gives it to Kieran Mulholland, plays a good ball over here to Danielle Keeblan, quick offload from Keeblan. And coming forward now is the wing half back, Dervla McGuckian. McGuckian sidesteps one challenge and then another, gives it back to Keeblan. Keeblan out to the side here now to Annie Neil Auckland, offloads it there to Kieran Mulholland, up in the air from Kieran. Under it was Claire McGrogan, but the hand comes in there from Dervla Steenson. And Leah Casey says that it came off Claire McGrogan last, so it's going to be a, a line ball. The sideline ball here to Bally McGuigan, which is going to be taken by Dervla Steenson. And gathered now by Aaron Doherty. Quick offload from Doherty to McLone. McLone coming forward here with a bit of space. McLone still going, goes past the challenge there of Lauren Neil Auckland. And still going as McLone. She might have goal on her mind here. She still goes with the effort. She had done everything right, but unfortunately she couldn't finish and puts it to the wrong side of the post and wide of the target but it was a strong run there from the midfielder Aoife Madlone but unfortunately for her her effort went to the wrong side maybe just got the challenge in at the right time was enough to put her off as Danielle Keeblan plays it there back to the goalkeeper who slips on the ground as Amy Glasgow though was there to help her out now out is Kira Mulholland again Kira got a blow to the face there though I think it was the number 10 possibly was closest to her, which was Erin O'Neill. So it's going to be a free 
Toot Len. There's Kira just down on the ground. The physio makes her way over. Tara McVeigh, the lines person on the far side, coming in, as you will see there. Just another stoppage here. The score still, as you will see, 2-2 to Glen, 1-2 to Bally McGuigan in this Irrigal Contracts Shield Decider. Brought to you live from Ownbeg with thanks to SBS Productions and Derry LGFA. Giving you the opportunity wherever you are to tune in and watch these two sides battle it out here in the centre of excellence here in Ownbeg. So play will resume with a free to Glen. Kira Mulholland is okay to continue and the free is taken into Amy Glasgow who spreads it over to this side here a little bit of work here for the corner back Aoife, or sorry the wing half back Derblin McGookin to gather possession plays it up along the wing looking for Brona McNichol but she's beaten to it there by Aoife, or not Claire McCartney Claire McCartney wins it back for Bally McGuigan now it's with the corner forward Lauren Crozier and a bit tight in there a little congested and the ball is given away and it's picked up by Dara McKenna Dara McKenna will work her way out and she does and she's fouled but it's a little bit congested in the centre there but Dara McKenna done well to win a free for the Glen girls and it's going to be taken by Danielle Keeblan Danielle looking for options she spreads it away over to the far side and picks out the wing half forward over there which is Lauren O'Loughlin. Cutting inside now is Brina O'Loughlin. Who gives it now to Amy Glasgow, the full back, driving forward here. Plays a good ball in in front of Mary Neilochlin. Mary Neilochlin cutting infield, looking to get support. Gets it from Leanne McChrystal. Leanne McChrystal sidesteps one challenge. Leanne trying to go past another, but she loses possession. But it's time to pick it up again. Gives it in now to Brina O'Loughlin. Brina O'Loughlin, though, is bottled up. Gives it back out to the far side to Mary Neilochlin. Mary Neilochlin tries to work her way through, but she's given away. And it's picked up now by Kate Gribben. Kate Gribben driving out here for the Bally McGuigan girls. Toe to hand. And Kate still going. Coming up against Amy Glasgow. Goes past Glasgow. Coming up now against Keeper Kirkpatrick. Flicks it to the side there. Spotted the run of Erin O'Neill who gathers position. Erin O'Neill cuts her way through the Glen defence. But a strong hand in there from Danielle Keevlan to turn it over. And there's no doubt about the star of the opening half has been Danielle Keevlan. Ball up here to Breno Lachlan. She's beaten to it there. And Bally McGuigan have it back yet again. Now with Aaron Doherty. Aaron Doherty flicks it out to the corner forward, which is our Lauren Crozier. Crozier's effort, though, is a big high one dropping in there. The hands go up, but it's going over everybody. And that will go down as a wide, a third wide for Bally McGuigan. So we're still awaiting the first score since the water break. It remains 2-2 to Glen, 1-2 to Bally McGuigan. And Bally McGuigan are making a change. They're introducing Kayla Letters. So Kayla Letters from the under-19 winning Bally McGuigan side is into the team so Kayla we'll just wait to see who's coming off here I think it's the full fort Shona Walls it is indeed Shona Walls coming off the field for Bally McGuigan so Louise gone with the kick out dropping it in round the centre the ball's broken down there and it's picked up by the midfielder Nicole Nugent and she's fouled there by Brina O'Loughlin. So this is an opportunity maybe for the first score since the water break for the Bally McGuigan girls. And coming forward now to take this one is Anna Martin. Kicked a good score from play already. But firstly, Nicole Nugent is going to have to receive some treatment here. Just a drink out of the magic bottle. A chance for the centre half forward, Anna Martin, with the free, drops in there. It's dropping short, but it drops over everybody and out wide of the target. So it's a couple of missed opportunities for Bally McGuigan, who have had the upper hand since the water break, but they have failed to make it count on the scoreboard as of yet. So gone with this kick out, plays it short to Danielle Keevlan. Danielle. 
good pass out here now to Annie Neil Ockland. The ball went through Annie's legs and it's picked up now by Erno Neil. Erno Neil gets away from the challenge of Danielle Keelan, gives it into her sister Ashley. Ashley looks for support, plays it inside. Might be an opportunity here for the midfielder Nicole Nugent, but her way is blocked and the referee says she is overcarried. So it's going to be a free out to Glenn. It's going to be taken by Danielle Keevlan again. The first side leading by a goal. Those early goals from Mary Neil Auckland and Claire McGrogan giving them that advantage despite the reply from Aaron Doherty. And here comes the goalkeeper now, Louise Gunn driving forward for, for Glenn. There's a simple ball to Brina O'Loughlin. Brina, good ball up now looking for Claire McGrogan. But it goes over Claire, but waiting for it is... Brona McNichol, McNichol gathers possession there, tackled by McCartney, Claire McCartney, but Brona McNichol still going, McCartney getting back at her, but Brona's breaking away from her, Brona McNichol now still going, bearing in on goal here, but it's a good challenge coming in there from Sinead Brady, and the referee says that Brona jumped into her, so it's going to be a free out to Bally McGuigan. As Ursula McCluskey says, up the Gwigan. They're doing pretty well so far. Although not on the scoreboard, but they've been on top since the water break. So play will resume. We're for free to Bally McGuigan here. As Danielle Keeblehan just comes over. I was just looking for a drink of water, I think. But there is play has been stopped at the moment because... There's a player re receiving treatment inside the Glen half. And it could well be Brina O'Loughlin, I think it is, that is down. And looking in a little bit of discomfort at the moment. So it is indeed Brina O'Loughlin. She's just holding her arm at the moment, so just in a little bit of discomfort but okay to continue so play will resume with full back in your pitcher Kiva O'Kane with the kick the free kick plays it back to her goalkeeper McKeown McKeown gathers possession and plays it up the far wing and into space picked up by Sinead Brady Brady cuts inside the challenge there of Mary Neil Auckland plays it off now to Nicole Nugent Nicole Nugent coming forward here for Bally McGuigan good offload now to Steenson Dervla Steenson Steenson driving forward here inside the 45, plays it off in here to the substitute now, Kayla Ladders, Kayla Ladders, quick offload from Ladders, looking for the corner forward, his effort comes in there, but it's a weak one, and it's picked up by the goalkeeper Louise Gunn, who picks out her full back, it was Lauren Crozier, who had the final effort in there, but it lacked the pace and power to trouble the Glen goalkeeper, and Glen trying to clear the lines over there through Leanne McChrystal, but Glen patiently coming forward here, over on the far side to Kira Mulholland. Gives it now to Annie Neil Auckland. Annie drives it long in here and it's a good ball. Almost a good ball. But it was well cut out by the Bally McGuigan side. Because in behind was Claire McGrogan. Bit of space now for Aaron Doherty. Aaron Doherty coming forward. Drives it forward into space. And there's a good ball as well. And it's picked up there by Kayla Ladders. Who's looked lively since introduced. Gives it back to Aaron Doherty again. But Doherty put under pressure by the Glen defence. But Doherty still going. Toda Han needs to get support because she's going to be crowded out and does she gets it there from the corner forward which is Ashley O'Neill gives it over to Martin now further on over to the far side to Lauren Crozier Crozier back again coming forward is Kate Gribben Gribben's going to have a go from an acute angle but her effort to the wrong side and wide and that's three wide since the water break for Bally McGuigan or four wide apologies since the water break so a couple of opportunities gone a begging for the Bally McGuigan girls, as the referee, I'm sure, will be calling a halt to the opening half very soon. More scores have really dried up here. The short kick out again, picked up by Danielle Keevlahan. Keevlahan breaks away from the challenge, gives it to Kiva Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick over now to Lauren O'Loughlin. Lauren gives it back then to her team captain, Kiva Kirkpatrick again. Kiva, though, drops possession, put under pressure there by Kate Gribben, and it's enough to turn it over. Bally McGuigan have it back again. Is there a score in them before half time? Can they level it up? They're coming forward here. An opportunity here for the midfielder. McLone coming through. It could be a goal chance, but Louise Gunn is quickly off her line there. The pass wasn't the best, though, 
from the Bally McGuigan and another opportunity for the McGuigan girls goes astray and the referee's whistle sounds for a free to Glen, which I'm sure the half time whistle will be coming very very soon indeed so Leanne McChrystal with the free gives it out to Annie Neilachlan back again to McChrystal uses her power her speed and her strength but then as I say that she drops the ball and it's picked up here by Aaron Doherty Aaron Doherty driving forward here for Bally McGuigan got a little nudge in the back but Glenn got away with it Aaron Doherty trying to get past the challenge of Darren McKenna does exactly that plays it into the centre it's a good dangerous ball in there but it comes off the ankles of Kayla Ladders picked up by Kira Mulholland and back now helping out again is that girl Der- Danielle Kievlahan has been just about every earnest handled so much football for Glenn in this opening half as Glenn worked the way out on the far side through Lauren Neilachlan gives it off to her goalkeeper Louise Gunn spreads it up along the sideline looking for the run there of Claire McGrogan but too much on it and it's out over the far sideline so it remains 2-2 to 1-1 two, two. Two in favour of the Waddy Grahams but here come Bally McGuigan which they've done for most of the second quarter and they're coming forward with McLone again offloads it then to Ashley O'Neill for their own over to her sister Erin Erin trying to work her way through but the referee says yes she has been fouled so it's a free in for Bally McGuigan which is going to be taken by the midfielder Aoife McLone and Aoife McLone plays it back now to Anna Martin Anna Martin tries to work her way through she goes down onto the challenge that's an easy decision for the referee Ronan Corey from Loop and a chance here for Anna Martin to reduce the deficit and it could well be the last action of the opening half but it's Outside the exclusion deep, it's a difficult one, but in the meantime, Dan Dervla McGuckian is going to have to receive treatment first. No, nope, she's okay, she's back on her feet. So a chance here for Anna Martin with the free, but she's going to take it short because she spotted the run over here and an opportunity, but Aaron Doherty took her eye off the ball. Rona McNichols back there trying to get back at her, she's pulling back at Iron No, and a little tug of the jersey. So this is a much more scorable free now for. The Bally McGuigan girls and a chance here for Erin O'Neill to reduce the deficit to a two-point game deep into additional time at the end of this opening half. So O'Neill with the chance, O'Neill with the point. So Erin O'Neill with the free, with the point, and there goes the half-time whistle. It's advantage Glenn, but Bally McGuigan really dominated that second quarter. They'll be disappointed just to have only the one point on the board, but they've reduced it to a two-point game. It's Glenn 2-2, Bally McGuigan 1-3, at half time here don't go anywhere we'll be back very soon with the second half of the Eric Contracts Senior Football Championship Shield Decider it's half time Glen 2-2 Bally McGuigan 
welcome back. As you can see, both teams and the referee about to get the second half underway with Glenn holding that slender two point advantage. 2 2 to 1 3. As Ronan Corey from Loop about to get the second half underway. But firstly, something. Oh, he's waiting on the lines person, Leah Casey. Was both lines people are on the one side. Leah forgot that she had to go to the far side, so Leah has made her way over now. So play the second half gets underway. So the start, both teams will be looking for a bright start. And Mian McChrystal gathers possession for Glenn. Plays it into the corner to Claire McGrogan. Scored an early goal at the start of the game. We'll be looking to get an immediate impact at the start of the second half as well. Gathers possession. Plays it back out to the girl that gave it to her, Leanne McChrystal, whose foot went from underneath her. But has time to pick it up and go forward again. Still going forward, but the referee says she's overcarried. So it's a free out, and it's going to be taken by Nicole Nugent. But it wasn't the best of frees, and doing well there was Kira Mulholland, but doing equally as well was the Bally McGuigan gear, which has earned Doherty to win it. When it looked like she had lost possession, plays it over to the side here, but that takes a wicked bounce down in front of it, and it's going to suit the corner back there, Aoife McGuckian. McGuckian just lost possession, though, but has time to pick it up, gets it away. And the hands weren't down on the ball, so the referee lets it go on as Mary Neil Auckland fists it forward here, looking for her twin, her sister, which is Annie. Annie gathers possession, gives it back now to Brina. Brina O'Loughlin. Brina trying to jinx her way through, but her way is blocked. Has to come back out again, and comes her way back out here. And spreads it over to Danielle Keeblant. Keeblant trying to side set to challenge there of Eva McLone. Cuts inside McLone again, goes between the two, but leaves the ball behind her, does Danielle. And Eva McLone for Bally McGuigan gathers possession, plays it up here now to Erin O'Neill. Erin O'Neill goes between two Glen girls and still going. Has got pace here as Erin O'Neill. She's still going. She's got Kayla Letters inside her. She uses her. She looks for Kayla Letters inside. Kayla Letters with an opportunity, but the ball just gets away from Kayla and has to give it back out here now. And it's an opportunity for Erin Doherty or Erin O'Neill, it is. And the referee signals a penalty as Erin O'Neill was up there in support and was pulled back. And a penalty for Bally McGuigan right at the start of this second half. And a chance for the McGuigan girls to hit the front. They did hit the front at the very start with the opening free. Now they have a chance at the start of the second half from the penalty spot. An opportunity for Erin O'Neill against Louise Gunn on the scoreboard end of Owen Beck. A chance to put Bally McGuigan in front. And she hits it but is saved by the goalkeeper and tapped over the bar. Louise Dunn getting a strong hand to deflect it over the bar for a point. It reduces the deficit, but Erin O'Neill will be disappointed that she only got a point. When a goal was on from the penalty spot, so could that be a big moment in this shield decider? As Kira Mulholland gathers possession for Glenn, who haven't scored since they led by 2-2 to 1-1. Towards the end of the opening quarter. And the referee's whistle sounds again. I think he has given a free to Bally McGuigan. But there's a Glen girl down. Injured which is Bruna McNichol. But she is back on her feet. It is indeed a free. Which is going to be taken by Nicole Nugent. Supporting a little bit of bandaging on her knee. As you will see. Or tape. Just to help her, she gives it to her midfield partner, Aoife McLone, who spreads the ball away over into the corner, looking for Crozier, Lauren Crozier. Gathers possession way over in the far corner, plays a dangerous ball into the centre. The hands go up for this one, it's knocked down, but it's broken away from the Bally McGuigan forwards that was in there, and it's picked up by Amy Glasgow. Amy Glasgow trying to work her way out of defence, and gives a good ball out now to Annie Neil Auckland. Annie Neil Auckland is going to be bottled up though, needs to get support. Plays it inside now to Leanne McChrystal. McChrystal drives it long, looking for Annie Neil Auckland, but Annie Neil Auckland couldn't take it first time and was picked up by Joanne Corr, who is fouled for Bally McGuigan. So 2-2 to 1-4. Glenn still with their noses in front by the narrowest of margins. Eight plays seven. Coming forward now is Anna Martin. Anna Martin into the centre, but it's a wayward pass, picked up by Danielle Keevelhan. 
Keevlan spreads it away over to the far side. Wonderful ball from Keevlan. Picks out Brona McNichol. McNichol has got space over on the far side. Coming back at her is Aaron Doherty. McNichol still goes. Gets the ball away into the corner. Looking for Claire McGrogan. McGrogan gathers possession just in front of the corner back there. Claire McGar- McCartney. And Claire McGrogan. 1 1 to her name already. And Claire. Just showing her soccer skills. Gathers possession. Plays the simple pass then to the girl that come round to help her out, which is Brina O'Loughlin. Plays it in now to Kira Mulholland. Kira Mulholland spots the run here of Leanne McChrystal coming forward. Leanne McChrystal gathers possession, trying to hold off the challenge there of Kate Gribben. Goes down under the challenge of Gibber- Gribben. And the referee says that it's going to be a free in to Glenn. So a chance for Glenn to hit the first score since the opening quarter. From Claire McGrogan's point, that put them 2 2 to 1 1 in front at that stage. They haven't scored since, as two points or three unanswered points one at the end of the opening quarter, one in the second quarter, and then one at the start of the second half from that penalty spot for Bally McGuigan has reduced the deficit to the narrowest of margins. But a chance now for Glenn to reduce the deficit. A chance for Annie Neil Auckland. Hasn't scored as of yet. Has seen plenty of ball. She'll be hoping to get her name on the score sheet. And it has just crept in. No, it hasn't. It's gone to the wrong side and wide. It's a missed opportunity for Glenn. So it remains a one-point game here. In Owen Begg in this Erigal contract. She'll find by the hold up. Almost cut out there, but Mary Neil Auckland has it. Plays it over now, but it's over the head there of... Brona McNichol and is picked up by the cornerback and the cornerback was Claire McCartney but she's given possession away to Annie Neil Auckland. both teams given possession away as Annie Neil Auckland goes down under the challenge and it's a free in to Glenn and another opportunity for Annie whose last effort tailed to the near post and wide so she'll be aiming for the far post on this occasion has she learnt from it? she seems to have learnt from it yes she has because that's a well struck free from Annie Neil Auckland for Glenn's first score since the opening quarter and an important score for them to just edge their noses two points in front again 2-3 to 1-4 9 plays 7 in the early stages of the second half the kick out from the goalkeeper goes astray again Mary Neil Auckland's in to pick that one up gathers possession as Mary needs to get support though looks for support coming behind her then is Leanne McChrystal McChrystal comes forward she can kick a point she fancies her chances but this one it has it all over the bar wonderful point from the midfielder it's like buses they wait so long for a score and then all of a sudden two come together they've opened up a three point advantage with almost seven and a half minutes into the second half as the kick out comes from the goalkeeper Leanne McKeown goes long on this occasion and it's well read by Nicole Nugent who gathers possession, plays it off now to Sinead Brady Brady waits for the runner and that runner coming is the midfielder Aoife McLone and Aoife McLone still going fisted into space here into the corner and there's a chance here for Crozier or Crozier gives it off and it's low toe pokes and little passes just to the feet of people and they've given possession away it wasn't into the hands they had a bend and they were down at their feet but here comes Leanne McChrystal who's just after hit that wonderful point for Glenn driving forward again plays it over to this side here and it's almost picked up by Breno Lachlan but it's Joanne Corr for Bally McGuigan and gathers possession trying to drive the Quicken girls forward here and Joanne's still going strong run here from the county star plays a toe poke over to the far side picked up by Aaron Doherty Doherty Tackled there by Kira Mulholland. Fouled by Mulholland. And it's a free in to Bally McGuigan. The free taken short and wasted from Bally McGuigan. Yet again like they had done in the second quarter when they were on top. So it'll be a kick out for Glenn but in the meantime there's going to be treatment here down in front of us for Nicole Nugent the midfielder for Bally McGuigan she did take a blow in the opening half to the face and she's 
Just taking a drink out of the bottle again. Seems to be a mouth injury. And Nicole, happy enough to continue. So it remains 2-4 to 1-4. The goal separating the sides. The two early goals, Mary Neil Auckland and Claire McGrogan. For Glenn, the goal for Bally McGuigan coming from Aaron Doherty. There's the kick out from Louise Gone goes straight to the corner forward. Lauren Crozier with the opportunity back off the post from Crozier. Missed opportunity again from that poor kick out from Louise Gone. Almost punished. But Bally McGuigan didn't take advantage. They might still do so, though. As they come forward here, it's a good ball over to this side here. But there's an opportunity here coming forward, trying to work her way through. And going through the centre here now is the midfielder, Aoife McGloan. McGloan with the chance. McGloan with the point. Aoife McGloan, the midfielder with the point. But it was a chance for Lauren Crozier off the post from the poor kick out. But they did recycle it. And Aoife McGloan pops the ball over the bar. To reduce the deficit to a two-point game. 11 minutes into the second half. 2-4 to 1-5. Kick out from Louise Gunn. Out to this side here to Aoife McGuckian. McGuckian gathers possession. Fouled is the cornerback. As Bally McGuigan prepare to make a double change down in front of us. Emma Jo O'Neill and Kate, Katie Shivers getting ready to come into the fray. There's a race for possession. Won by Sinead Brady. Ahead of Claire McGrogan. Brady goes down under the challenge. Fouled by a joint effort of Claire McGrogan and Annie Neil Auckland. And the referee halts play. As the substitutions, both of them coming on now. Emma Joe O'Neill and Katie Shivers is in to the Bally McGuigan side. While Rachel McCusker is in for Mary Neil Auckland. On the Glen side, and the players going off. It's the two corner forwards, I think. 15 and 13 on the Bally McGuigan side. It is indeed. So Lauren Crozier, who had that goal chance, will come off the post. And the other one is the team captain, Ashley O'Neill is off the Bally McGuigan side and the referee's whistle sounds again and he's given a free in favour of Brina O'Loughlin for Glenn but Brina spots the run now of Kiva Kirkpatrick but Kiva just couldn't take the ball first time but she has time to pick it up so Kiva Kirkpatrick in possession for Glenn sidesteps the challenge the team captain lays it off now and it's coming forward here is Brona McNichol McNichol trying to get her way through, but the effort from Brona is disappointing as it tails out and wide of the target for another wide for Glenn, their second of the second half. So it remains a two point game. 2 4 to 1 5. Leanne McKeown, the Bally McGuigan goalkeeper with a kick out, dropping in there. Claire McGrogan couldn't gather possession. And the loose ball is picked up by Nicole Nugent, putting in a Trojan of work in the centre of the park there for Bally McGuigan. Nicole looking for the runner to take this free. But the referee says, hold on a wee second, because there's a Bally McGuigan gear needing to receive treatment. Just behind Nicole, just out of your picture to your left hand side. So Bally McGuigan will resume with the free. And Nicole says, I'm leaving it, I'm going forward. And instead, it's going to be the full back to take the free. That's Kiva O'Kean. So Kiva O'Kean, it was Sinead Brady that was receiving the treatment. So Kiva O'Kean, the full back for Bally McGuigan, getting ready to take this free. Go for side trailing by two points. Almost 14 minutes gone in the second half. Plays it for it. And here come Katie, Kate Gribben. And now there's an opportunity going through the centre as Nicole Nugent. Nugent might have gone on her mind. She's still going as Nugent plays it off here. An opportunity maybe to try and work her way through. And it's still going, but it's a good challenge in there from the Glen girls to try to work it back out here. There's an opportunity for Steenson with the effort. And Steenson with the point. Dervla Steenson with the point. 
to reduce the deficit to the minimum. 2.40 to Glen, 1.6 to Bally McGuigan. Coming up on 14 and a half minutes gone in the second half. As Louise gone with the kick out for Glen. Plays it over to the far side. Looking for her team captain, but it's over the head of Kiva Kirkpatrick. Picked up there by Kayla Letters. Kayla Letters way over in the far side. Plays it inside now to the point scorer there, Steenson, into the corner. And coming forward again, Bally McGuigan. The substitute now inside to Erin O'Neill. O'Neill tries to work her way through. Still going. Might be a chance on here now for a wonderful block from Danielle Cavelahan coming in there. Breaks out though to Anna Martin. Anna Martin from a very acute angle. Straight across the goals. Looking for Erin Doherty. Doherty has possession. Plays it in here now. A chance for Kayla Letters. Kayla Letters has been tackled there by two, three Glen players. But the ball is broken back to Erin Doherty. Trying to work her way through. Overcarried. But that wonderful block from Danielle Cavelahan to deny Aoife McClone the effort. Could be a big key moment in this contest. This is just a single point between the sides. The free is taken over to the far side, gathered over there by Annie Neil Lachlan. Can she keep it in play from going out over the sideline? No, she can't, but Leah Casey says that at last touched the Bally McGuigan girls. So it's up along the sideline, but it's given possession away, picked up now by Aoife McClone. McClone tackled there by Brona McNichol, but it's back again to Derla Steenson, back to Nicole Nugent, now to McClone, McClone coming forward here for Bally McGuigan, McClone still going, inside an opportunity but well read and picked up there by Dara McKenna, now to Brina O'Loughlin, Brina O'Loughlin, good ball over here now to Claire McGrogan, McGrogan gathers possession, taking on our player, being pulled back, the referee says play on, McGrogan still going, drops the ball, goes to ground wins the free done well to Claire McGrogan but good defending too from Claire McCartney. Didn't give her an inch, but in the end, fouled the Glen Gear. So it's a free in. And the girl that's up there that made that wonderful block at the other end of the field, Danielle Keevelhan, is going to take this free for Glen, who lead by the narrowest of margins. 2-4 to 1-6. 10 plays 9. So Danielle Keevelhan to take this free. Just on the 45 metre line. Plays it over the top. But it's well read there by Kivo O'Kane. And now to Sinead Brady. Who's played very well at the centre of that defence. For Bally McGuigan. Here's Kivo O'Kane the full back. Coming forward because slips through the hands there. Of Aaron Doherty picked up by Kira Mulholland. Mulholland coming forward for Glenn. Fisted forward now to Breen O'Loughlin. Breen O'Loughlin coming up against Joanne Corr. No way past Corr. But did enough to hold possession. Gives it back now to Kira Mulholland. Mulholland to Leanne McChrystal, who's hit a point already. McChrystal might fancy another one. Almost lost possession. Referee says she overcarried. So it's a free out to Bally McGuigan. That's the weather, that storm there from Glen. And we still play. We played almost 19 minutes, or almost 20 minutes in the opening half before we had the water break. We've already played almost 18 in the second half, we haven't had the water break yet. That was picked up by Danielle Keevelan. Back in now to Claire McGrogan. McGrogan fisted forward here to Annie Neelachlan. Neelachlan looks to try and turn and hit it in, but your way has blocked. Drops the ball, drops possession. The ball's broken away, but it's picked up by Brina O'Loughlin. Brina gives it away back to her, her sister Lauren. Lauren flicks it to the side. Picked up there by Kira Mulholland. Mulholland further to Leanne McChrystal. McChrystal coming forward now for Glenn. McChrystal still going with a wonderful challenge. Come in there with the referee's whistle. Had sounded. No, it didn't sound. But it has sounded now for touching the ball on the ground while her knee was on the ground. So Bally McGuigan have it back yet again now with Aaron O'Neill. O'Neill's penalty at the start of the second half went over the bar instead of under it. Well, it was deflected over the bar by Louise Gunn in the goals for Glenn. So she had the chance to put Bally McGuigan in front. She's coming forward again, but they're only a point adrift at the moment. Plays an inside now to Eva McClone. McClone coming forward here for Bally McGuigan. The midfielder, Eva McClone, cuts inside. Looking to get support. The support is coming. And the effort coming in there. But a wonderful block down from Amy Glasgow. Amy Glasgow trying to put in the challenge there. She goes down onto the challenge as Ethan McLoone for a free in to Bally McGuigan. So an opportunity for Bally McGuigan to level it up here. And if this ball you would feel goes dead, the referee will call a water break. But he's leaving it. And the effort, the chance, the opportunity... Is going to go to Aaron Doherty, the county player for Bally McGuigan. Aaron Doherty's effort coming in, but it's going to drop short. 
And it's picked up by the Bally McGuigan defence. And Kira Mulholland gathers possession, but she's given possession away, has she? No, they might have won it back over there, over on the far side. And the referee says that Glenn have won a free. And Danielle Keevelahan is going to take it. It was Dervlin McGuckian that won it. Now to Brino O'Loughlin. Brino O'Loughlin cuts inside the challenge there. Brino O'Loughlin coming across the field looking to get support, but there's no support at the moment. Now the support comes from the team captain, Kiva Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick way over on the far side of Owen Beck. Plays it back again to Brino O'Loughlin. The referee's whistle sounds. Not sure what for. Oh, way down at the goals. The scoreboard in. There's a Glen Gale down. I think it could well be Kira Mulholland because I've seen when she won possession, she seemed to come hopping a little bit as she released the ball, so the referee just stops play to see if Kira is okay. So 20 minutes gone in the second half, and we've yet to have the water break. It'll soon be half time, or full time, sorry. And still no water break. So play will resume. With Glenn in possession. And now the referee calls water break. So it's water break time with almost 20 minutes gone in the second half. So it was indeed Kira Mulholland. But she's back on her feet. Glenn supporters will be happy to hear. So hopefully you're enjoying it wherever you are. Tuned their way for this Erigal Contracts Senior Football Championship Shield decider that is going right to the wire here in Owen Beg. Just a point between the sides. Glenn 2 4, Bally McGuigan 1 6. 10 plays 9. As we're coming down the home straight of this decider to see who will be taking home the Shield title. At the moment, Glenn, just with their noses in front, like they have done since Mary Neil Auckland hit the early goal of the game, following Bally McGuigan's opening point from a free. But since that goal from Mary Neil Auckland, Glenn have had their noses in front, while Bally McGuigan have had numerous chances, including a penalty at the start of the second half that was saved by Louise Gunn in the Glenn goal, palming Aaron O'Neill's effort over the bar. But Glenn... Scores few and far between for them. They hit 2-2 in the opening quarter. And their other two points have come at the start of the second half. So play, as I said, will resume when the teams break away from the huddles. And your pitcher is the Bally McGuigan girls. And the management, I'm sure, will be disappointed that they're still behind because of the chances and the possession that they have had since that opening quarter where Glenn had started very very brightly but since that Bally McGuigan have had a lot of possession a lot of chances so now it's who really wants it the most and who's going to go for it in this final 10 minutes or so as Glenn break away from their huddle you would see Cathy Joyce there in the hat and the white coat, making her way off, of course, out through injury. With that arm injury, picked up in the Senior Championship semi-final, defeat to ball on the screen. So play, as I said, will resume with possession to Glenn when the referee stopped play for the injury to Kieran Mulholland. So Danielle Keevelahan, in your picture, will take this free for Glenn inside their own half, inside their own 65 metre line. Waits for the referee's go ahead, which he does give her at the moment and plays it through the centre, looking for Brona McNichol. But it's picked up, Rachel McCusker, who come off the bench, couldn't gather possession there, it's picked up by Joanne Corr. And Glenn, are on backtrack again, the challenge comes in there from Leanne McChrystal, there's a bit of afters there, you might just have caught, but Nicole Nugent gets on with it, and coming forward here for Bally McGuigan, challenge there by Brina O'Loughlin, but it's come now to Aoife McLone. The two midfielders putting in a lot of work here for Bally McGuigan. Aoife still going. Has she tied it up? Yes, she has. Aoife McLone with the point. Her second of the day. And the sides are level. Here in Owen Beg. 2-4 to Glenn. 1-7 to Bally McGuigan. 
The kick out from Louise Gunn. Picks out Dara McKenna. McKenna looks to get support. She could well be crowded out here, and she is, and the goalkeeper's off her line, but the referee's whistle had sounded, saying that Dara McKenna was fouled. So, Amy, Mac- or Amy Glasgow with the free, and she spreads it over to the far side, picked out by Breen O'Loughlin. Breen O'Loughlin gives it to Kiva Kirkpatrick, who drives the ball forward here for Glenn, and it's picked up now by Brona McNichol. McNichol coming forward, gives it off to Rachel McCusker, back to McNichol again, might be a goal chance on here, but a good challenge comes in there, and the effort coming in, but the referee says that it was touched on the ground there by Brona McNichol, so it's a free out to Bally McGuigan, it was a chance for Glenn, but they couldn't take it, good defending from Bally McGuigan to turn it over again, have to give possession away, they've given it to Leanne McChrystal, McChrystal in here now, chance for Brona McNichol, back to Breno Lachlan, Breno Lachlan's ever to could tip over the goalkeeper, it has from Breno Lachlan, into the back of the net, for Glenn's third goal of the game, Breno O'Loughlin's effort, dipping at the last minute, over the head of the goalkeeper, and into the back of the net, for Glenn's third goal, could that be the key score, in the dying minutes of this contest ball out around the centre picked up by Lauren O'Loughlin who has just seen her sister Brina put her side three points in front and she wins a free and Glenn just slowing it down now Danielle Keevlan with the free spreads it away over now to Lauren Lauren O'Loughlin gathers possession lays it off now to Kira Mulholland Mulholland just slowing it down. Next score could be vital if it's for Glenn. Breen O'Loughlin, whose goal has just put her side three points in front. Brina back out again to Kiva Kirkpatrick. Now to Brona McNichol. Back again to Brina O'Loughlin. They're just slowing it down with 26 minutes gone in the second half as the effort comes in. But a good challenge comes in there. And Bally McGuigan have turned it over. And they're coming forward again as Bally McGuigan with the midfielder, Aoife McLone. McLone sidesteps one challenge, sidesteps another and then plays a good ball over to the far side to Aaron O'Neill. Back again to Aoife McLone. McLone going through the centre again. As he pulled back there, referee playing the advantage as Bally McGuigan still hold possession. Bottled up now is Katie Shivers. And the referee's whistle sounds to give a free out to Glenn. Back now with Brina O'Loughlin. To Danielle Keevlan, who has been absolutely superb. Spreads a wonderful ball over here to Annie Nilochlin. Did well ahead of Joanne Corr. Annie Nilochlin trying to get away from Corr. But Corr getting back at her. Annie Nilochlin still holds possession. Trying to get away again. And now is fouled. As Joanne Corr pulls her to the ground. And the referee may have action to take here. Well, he's encouraged by the Glen support to take action. And he has the book out. But I think it's just a stern warning for Joanne Corr on this occasion. No, it's a yellow card for Joanne Corr. So, Bally McGuigan are going to have to see out the remainder of the game with 14 players because Joanne Corr is sent to the sin bin. 3-4 to 1-7. 13 plays 10. So Joanne Court picking up that yellow card for the challenge on Annie Nilochlin. And Annie Nilochlin is coming off. Not sure if there was a change. Or is Annie just waiting to go back on here? But in possession is Kira Mulholland. Who's been superb also for the Glen Girls. Leanne McChrystal put in a Trojan of work as well and hit a wonderful point. Amy Glasgow trying to hold off the challenge, but Glen holding possession at the moment and holding on to the ball as Lauren Neilachlan is a judge to have touched the ball on the ground. As the ball is drove forward here, it's taken a wicked bounce, but Amy Glasgow does well for, for Glen. And picked up now by Kiva Kirkpatrick. Spreads it away over to the far side. Great ball over to Bruno McNichol. McNichol driving forward here for Glenn. Her side lead by three points. That goal from Breno Lachlan. Gives it off now to the substitute that come on. And that substitute was Kira Gallagher that come on for Annie Lee Lachlan. So Kira Gallagher, but has Bally McGuigan turned it over? Yes, they have. And Nicole Nugent is the one that gathers the loose ball. Spreads it over to the side now into space. And that space... It's for Bally McGuigan to come forward through the midfielder, Aoife McLone. McLone will drive and run at the 
Glenn defence plays it inside now to Kate Gribben Gribben coming forward here for Bally McGuigan Gribben still going plays it over to this side here but it's a wayward pass and going after it is Dara McKenna McKenna bends her back gathers possession tries to work away out is fouled by Gribben and it's a free out to Glenn and they'll run down as much time as they can as the, the trail or the lead apologies by a goal three goals and four points to 1-7 the lead at the moment of time ticking away as Amy Glasgow could well lost possession playing a dangerous game in there is Amy Glasgow but holds on to possession gives it out here to Lauren Neil Auckland or Old Auckland Lauren goes away back to a goalkeeper here which is Louise Gunn gathers possession toe to hand Louise Gunn in no rush plays a simple ball to Kira Mulholland Mulholland coming out for Glenn plays it to Danielle Keeblan as they run down the clock we're inside additional time at the end of this game with Glenn leading by three goals and four points to 1-7 ball drove forward now but it's well intercepted over in the far side but Kira Gallagher tries to battle to win it but the referee says that Kira has given away the free right in front of Cahill McCosker hiding behind that camera nearly taken out of it there by Leah Casey just moved the camera in time there did Cahill so this free is taken inside challenge comes in there Nicole Nugent but a good hand in there from Rachel McCusker to turn it over for Glenn picked up there by Breno Lachlan that all important third goal could be the winning of this game as Glenn hold possession running down as much time as they can but it's a dangerous game because we know the danger of the Bally McGuigan Danielle Keeblan plays an inside now to Amy Glasgow back out to Dara McKenna holding possession as Glenn Passing it through the hand, short passing, making sure that the pass goes to the intended target is Kira Mulholland. Away over on the far side, plays the ball forward, but the challenge comes in and the effort is only deflected out over the far side down there from Sinead Brady. And this will run down even more time for Glenn. As Brino Lachlan gets ready to take this sideline ball for Glenn. Brina's all-important third goal. She plays it away back deep inside her own half because she spotted an unmarked player there, which was Danielle Keevlan. Keevlan breaks away from the challenge of the Bally McGuigan girl, spreads it over to the side now to Lauren O'Loughlin. Lauren back again to Aoife McGuckey and McGuckey and further over now to Kiever Kirkpatrick. Will she be climbing the steps to get the hands on the shield? At the moment, it's looking like it will be. But here comes Brina O'Loughlin. She's hauled to the ground. That's a free in. And this will play into the hands of Glenn. But we know from Bally McGuigan, we've seen it at underage. The under-19 final and the under-18 final, they will not give up until that very final whistle. As Breno Lachlan just gets her breath. Could it be her goal that will be the winning of this game? At the moment, it is. As she gives the ball back to Kira Mulholland. Mulholland back again to Breno. Breno just comes back inside her own half and then turns and heads towards the Bally McGuigan end of the field and she's coming across the field plays it into space now for Aoife McGuckian McGuckian just stops and gives it back to Brina who spreads it over to this side here for Claire McGrogan outside her is Lauren O'Loughlin Lauren O'Loughlin gathers possession coming around is Claire McGrogan McGrogan being tackled there goes to ground fouled and no overcarriage is the referee he's blew her for overcarrying so it's a free to Bally McGuigan. We have three additional minutes. Well, the water break has to come out of that. We could be looking at another two or three minutes at least as Bally McGuigan try to work the way out of defence. The referee's whistle sounds again. But they've given possession away as Bally McGuigan to Breno Lachlan. Breno Lachlan's ball in, looking for Kira Gallagher. Kira Gallagher gathers possession, goes to ground under the challenge. And the referee's whistle sounds. It's a free in. It could be moved forward here because it's just been kicked away. But the referee says no. The challenge coming in on Kira Gallagher to win a free for Glenn. And this is an opportunity for Glenn to all but seal the Shield title you would feel. The insurance point, if this one can sail between the posts, the usual free taker, Annie Neil Auckland, is standing on the sideline watching on. With that injury, she would be the one that would be taking this one. But Breno Lachlan, whose goal has them three points up, now has the opportunity to all but seal the issue. And here it is, sailing between the posts from Brina O'Loughlin. Her goal and a point since the water break 
has Glenn four points in front. Deep into additional time as Bruno McNichol receiving treatment though. But Glenn moving four points clear could be on the way to the Senior Shield title. The Errigal Contract Senior Shield title. Coverage brought to you with thanks to SVS Productions. With Ryan and Terence and Kirsty on the camera. Bringing you all the pictures here from Moonbeg in this exciting finish to this Shield decider with Glenn holding a four point advantage. The kick out comes, but the referee halting play because there's a change for Glenn. As Brona McNichol comes off, and the player going in is the number 23. Roisin McElhannon is in for Brona. But is there a final sting? Is there a final say in this Bally McGuigan side? Ball in there, but there's a good hand in there from, from Glenn. But Bally McGuigan battle for possession, but it's Glenn that come out with it. And coming out with it there is Darna McKenna. She has been super herb in there in defence as well for the Glenn girls. But as I say that, she almost gave possession away. But Michael Hennan, who's just come off the bench, her first action is to be put under pressure. Coming forward is Eva McLoone. McLoone has done everything for Bally McGuigan and I think we'll be seeing a card here for the Glen Gear as the referee comes across and I think Leanne McChrystal will be going to the sin bin. Indeed she is and I don't think she can have any qualms about that one. She unceremoniously took Aoife McLoone who has been superb for Bally McGuigan driving forward along with the other midfielder Nicole Nugent. But it's a chance here for Aaron Doherty to reduce the deficit, but is there time? We've all we've played six additional minutes. Take two out of that for the water break. So we've played four. She's going for the goal. Plays the ball across the field, but it's a waste of possession. And it's picked up by the star of the day, the star of the final quarter, Brina O'Loughlin, whose goal on a point has Glenn in control of this one. Now with Kira Mulholland. Mulholland drives it long into space, looking for Kira Gala or Rachel McCusker, but the final whistle goes. And the Shield honours go to Glenn. They had a battle to the end, but the goal and the point from Brino O'Loughlin has seen Glenn crowned champions of the Shield title for 2021. The Senior Football Championship Shield decider has been won by Glenn in the end by four points. Glenn 3-5, Bally McGuigan 1-7. The star of the day in the final quarter, Brino O'Loughlin's goal and a point saw Glenn across the winning line in the end. After what was a keenly contested affair, Bally McGuigan will be disappointed. They had their chances. They didn't take them. In particular, the penalty at the start of the second half that was saved by Louise Gunn, tipping the effort from Aaron Doherty over the bar, or Aaron O'Neill, apologies, over the bar. But it's Glenn that take the title. In the end, with four points to spare, of course, they do have the league final coming up in a couple of weeks' time, or down the line somewhere against Steelstown as they finish top of the league, joint top with them so they may well be looking for a double but they've won the Shield title here in Owen Beg in the end with four points to spare. Don't go anywhere we will have the presentation and we might if possible maybe have a word with some of the winning team, we'll see if we have time for that one but the presentation is coming your way to the winning captain Kiva Kirkpatrick will be coming forward to lift the Shield title and get her hands on the title and bringing it back to, to Glen. So we'll just leave it as we wait for the teams. You see the Glen girls in your picture at the moment making their way across the field. Fanula McCusker saying well done to the, the girls. And also well done to Glenn. Arlene Donnelly Turner tuned her way. Hopefully you enjoyed it wherever you were tuning in across the world. If you're a Glenn supporter, I'm sure you're pretty happy to see them pictures in front of you at the moment.